I had to grab myself something to eat really, really quick before I did this video. I went to this location right across the street from Curtis Hickson Park. It's called Butter Burgers. And like I said, it's right across the street from Curtis Hickson Park. And again, I am at one of the most Instagrammable places in Tampa, Florida. It is called Curtis Hickson Park. This waterfall is infamous. Normally, it's surrounded by a bunch of kids and they are playing in it, splashing, running around, soaking wet. But today I lucked out because most of the kids are in that museum that's right behind me. It's called the Glacier Children's Museum. So they're not running around splashing me with a bunch of water. But this is a great spot to take some cute pictures in. Um, I don't know if you would be on vacation or like for myself, I would just be taking pictures for my boutique or my boutique so that I can sell you products. <laughs> so yeah, this is just a great location to take pictures in for whatever you're um, there for. Also right behind or right beside this fountain is a bunch of trees, a nice location where there's some trees that you can just take pictures in. Um, I took pictures for like a headshot here for an audition that I had went on before. So this place is just universal. Those buildings behind me are amazing to take photos in as well. There's another level where you can take pictures in like a grassy knoll and there's like concrete slabs in between all the grass squares. There's an even bigger section with huge buildings behind it. That's another beautiful spot to take pictures in. There's even a little theater area. I didn't want to go in that area because there were some people that were there sleeping. I didn't want to like invade their privacy or have them on camera or anything like that. There was also some children or teenagers skateboarding so I didn't want to put them on camera either. But I just used this small section because this is another place where nobody was at. Now, if you come in the morning, you can get a better view of this because the sun won't be behind it. This is, I think, Tampa University, University of Tampa. That's what it's called. That is so pretty how those buildings look like Arabian Nights from Aladdin or something. That is so nice. And then, of course, you got the Children's Museum. I was trying to get some photos in the mosaic wall because I just think that's a nice little backdrop to take a bunch of pictures at, you know, just to, you know, make it look super artful. And there's like, I think it's four or five different uh, mosaic art sculptures in this area. And all throughout the park, there's more than just these mosaic wall art sculptures. There's like a couple of statues. I'm not really into statues, but you would have to come down and check it out because there is much more to this park than what I'm showing. There is also River Walk that's connected to this park, but I want to do that separately because that's just miles and miles of scenery, you know? So I'm just doing Curtis Hickson Park right now and the buildings that are pretty much attached to it. Um, there are some skyline buildings behind it. Um, that's what I pretty much got with the grassy knoll that was behind when I took the tree picture and stuff like that. But right now, just the mosaic wall is one of the great features of, you know, this scenery. At night, this park is lit up pretty well. As a matter of fact, tonight, um, they are getting ready for Rock in the Park, which is something that they do annually. It's just different local rock bands that come and perform and do like a couple of hours of performing for people, for a large group of people, or sometimes it's like an intimate small group of people. But you know, you just sit out in the grass area and there's like concrete stairs as well that kind of look like a concert venue a little bit. Um, it's a small concert venue, but it's still a really nice size. There's movies out here in this park as well, but I like to come here to take great pictures. Like, I have been here with professional pro photographers taking great pictures as well. Right now, I'm just out here with my iPhone. Hopefully, my iPhone is doing good enough. It does get darker 
though as the sun is going down so of course I'm not looking as clear but I still think that this is getting the point across so for the waterfall I did have the sound on at first but I did turn it off because this park is in the heart of downtown Tampa so it is pretty pretty noisy however it has a lot of water and nature in the park as well so it's noisy with you know water sounds also but I just went ahead and removed the audio period because it gets pretty noisy with all the honking and all the you know hustle and bustle of everybody trying to get around during rush hour or busy hours of the day which is always busy in Tampa but still with these pretty sceneries you get some really really nice photos now aside from me loving the mosaic wall as you can tell since I sat here for so long and wanted to make sure I took a picture in front of all of them or took video in front of all of them I absolutely love the train tracks behind the building now I have on my Crocs for safety so please don't pay attention to my shoes I would have loved to put on heels as long as I was still these rocks ain't nothing to play with so I definitely just left on my Crocs because I am too old to be falling and hurting myself because now when I hurt myself I'm in the hospital for a while I'm over 40 so I definitely want to make sure that I am safe but yes I love this atmosphere just the grittiness of being in this rough looking area with this beautiful dress and my long flowy hair and just being girly but you know the background graffiti just made it look so nice all right so leaving Curtis Hickson Park which is another very nice place to take some great photos sorry the sun is behind me so struggling a little bit sorry about that but yeah I just finished up on the train tracks which was kind of dark but it didn't matter I got it done but the thing about the train tracks it's a guy back there that didn't think I saw him but he's behind the wall sticking his camera out um, videoing me I'm sure he's trying to catch me falling I didn't fall but if I'd have fell and bust my ass that'd have been pretty funny for him but trust me I would have posted it before he could <laughs> But I'm all done. All right, I got 14 seconds to get across the street before people start honking on me, so bye. I was pumping and sweating and breathing hard, but I definitely love making this video and I hope you liked it too. So hit the like button and subscribe because I got more. Thank you.